In this video, I'll show you the fastest way possible to increase your friendship or happiness level so that you can evolve your Pokemon, and we're getting started right now. Now before we get started, be sure to smash the like button if you find this video helpful, and for your kind gesture, here's a nice picture of a puppy butt. It's important to know that different Pokemon require different friendship levels to evolve. Typically, Pokemon start with a base friendship stat of about 70 in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. In past Pokemon games, it was something a little different, so I wanted to call that out. For example, if you want to evolve Eevee into Sylveon, Umbreon, or Espeon, you're going to need to increase that friendship stat to a little over 2x of 70, which is about 160 to evolve. Now, Eevee does have some specific requirements for evolving, so if you need help there, then check out my other video on that. I'll put a link in the description. Now, if you're looking to evolve Pokemon like Riolu, then you might need to work on that friendship a little bit more, as he requires a friendship level of about 200. Okay, so just by using your Pokemon in battle alone can increase the friendship level. However, while this will get your Pokemon friendship level pretty high, it's definitely not the fastest way to do it, and you're going to have to use the other methods that we're going to cover in this video if you want to do it really fast. And even if you aren't concerned with evolving certain Pokemon, there are some other benefits to having your friendship level to be as high as possible with your Pokemon. If you max out the friendship level, then you'll have the following stat boost during battle. A 20% chance of preventing itself from being knocked out. A 20% boost in experience gained from the battle. A 20% chance of recovering from status conditions by itself. A 10% chance of avoiding opponent's moves. And a critical hit ratio increased to a factor of 2. So, as you can see, it's a really good idea to keep your friendship level high with your Pokemon. Now outside of battling with your Pokemon, there are some other things that you can do with them to increase your friendship. You can let them walk around with you by pressing the R button, you can have a picnic and give them sandwiches to eat, and you can also give them a bath during the picnic. Now based on a bunch of research and testing, here's what I come up with for the fastest way to do it. Unfortunately, the game doesn't come out and give you a specific friendship level. It'll more or less give you certain dialogues from a person to determine what level of friendship your Pokemon has with you. Now, there is a lady in Cascarafa City, right in the middle of the city, and she's standing there with a little mouse Pokemon. You can check with her to determine the friendship level of each Pokemon in your party. She will check and give you a certain dialogue that we can use to figure out what range of friendship your Pokemon is in. Now, there's probably about eight different dialogues that she can give you based on the level of friendship that you have, but instead of reading them all off, I'm going to tell you the dialogue that you're looking for in order to evolve most Pokemon. If she says you're getting along well, but I'm sure that you could get way friendlier, then you have level 150 to 199. And if she says you're good friends, all right, you definitely enjoy each other's company, then you have level 200 to 229. If she says, wow, you're pretty great friends, you sure mean a lot to each other, then you have level 230 to 254. And lastly, if she says, whoa, you're the best friends ever, I can tell just being together gives you the warm and fuzzies, then you have level 255, which is the max. It's always a good idea to see where you're at before getting started. So based on the dialogue, what friendship level is your Pokemon? All right, the next step is to head on over to the Deli Bird shop. Every time I see Deli Bird, I just have to say it like a like a country farmer. Deli Bird. You can head on over to the Deli Bird shop that's closest to you, and you'll find a Soothe Belt on sale in the general section for about $5,000. Buy one of these and give it to your Pokemon of your choice. Hey guys, if you're finding value in this video, then please give it a thumbs up. This spell doesn't increase the friendship level by itself, but it gives you a 50% boost towards any of the activities that increase your friendship. So in other words, give this to your Pokemon first, and then do all the friendship activities that I'm about to line up next. If you're doing all the right things to increase the friendship level of your Pokemon, but at the same time you're doing things to decrease the friendship level, then it's obviously going to take you even more time to get this to work. Just make sure that you never let your Pokemon faint while in battle, because this will decrease your friendship level quite a bit. And also, one other tip, try your best not to use the revival herbs or the energy powder because they will decrease your friendship level. Okay, so next we're gonna head over to the East Province area number two. It's located right outside of Lavincia. If you run around the area that I've circled here on the map, you'll find tons and tons of berries. The berries that you're looking for are Pomeg Berry, Kelpsy Berry, Fallout Berry, Hondu Berry, Grippa Berry, and Tomato Berry. Any of these berries can be used to increase the friendship level of your Pokemon. You'll want to feed your Pokemon probably around 10 to 20 berries, and honestly, I'd say no more than 20 would be needed, but it just depends on how low of a friendship level you start with. However, just be warned that these berries do lower your effort values of the Pokemon. 
And if you run out of these berries, just run around the map through the area that I've circled here and you should be able to farm the berries pretty easily. And once you've checked on the friendship level as I showed you in step number one, then you can do one of a couple things. You can repeat the process of feeding your Pokemon berries, or you can level the Pokemon up. To level the Pokemon, you can feed them XP candy, or you can battle with them to gain experience. And once your friendship level is where it needs to be, and you level your Pokemon, you can sit back, relax, watch the Pokemon evolve, while you subscribe and like this video if you found it helpful. See you next time, guys!